Good morning! In today's video, we are going to be trying on some blazers from Zara. I am super excited about this video because I found a couple pieces that I think are absolutely amazing and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. I also tried on a few different pairs of trousers from Zara that I also found a couple pairs that I fell in love with. So if you do want to go check out that video, I will leave it linked above and at the end of this video so you can check that one out after. But I'm just so excited to share with you the pieces I found today. So let's get straight into the video. So the first piece that I really want to talk about is the 100% linen blazer in the color light beige and also in the color a crew and black. So I did get this blazer in two different patterns, but this one is 100% my favorite. I fell in love with this blazer. I didn't think I would because it's very oversized and that kind of cool girl aesthetic really isn't me, but I fell in love with this blazer. I think it is so cool yet sleek and feminine and just something that I don't have in my wardrobe. It's something that I wouldn't want to spend a ton of money on because it's not something I could see myself wearing all the time, but it is definitely something that I really enjoy having in my wardrobe for those kind of like moments where I do want to have that more like cool girl aesthetic. And because this is at a very, very reasonable price tag, I think it is a perfect addition to my wardrobe. I feel like it drapes really, really beautifully over the body. It's more of a piece you would wear as an outerwear piece in the spring or summer, in my opinion, rather than wearing an actual jacket. It's kind of like an overcoat you could just throw on, create this really cool kind of oversized look while still feeling sleek and put together. And I think the linen material just really adds to that and complements the look really well. It gives that easy breezy, kind of beachy, more casual vibe where I could see this almost being paired with like jeans and a white t-shirt, or you could dress it up a little bit more with like trousers and a blouse. I think it's very, very versatile. And one detail I really, really loved was this elongated collar on the neckline. I think it just added to the look so, so well. I honestly don't know if I would have liked this blazer if it didn't have this elongated collar. I just think it looks beautiful and I just think it creates a really sleek and flattering silhouette to the piece. And I love that the sleeves are actually made to be rolled up. I wouldn't want to wear it any other way, especially with this being so oversized. I think if I had the sleeves down, it would just look too much. But with these rolled up, I think it really offsets the oversized look of the blazer and I just really like it. I like that it's this very soft satin material. I like that it's like this pinstripe design on the inside. It just elevates the look a little bit, making it look a little bit more fancy and dressed up. So that makes it so you can really wear it with more office appropriate clothing, whereas the linen definitely dresses it down, creating a more casual look. So that's why it's just such a versatile piece. You could really use it either way, which I absolutely love. But I did buy this in a, another pattern, which was that a crew and black pin striped pattern. And I do have to say, I really like the first option better, but I do think this one is cool too. It's a very beachy vibe. I think it's more leaning towards just the casual end. I don't know if you could dress this one up as easily. And for some reason, I felt like I think because of the striping detail, it did make it look even more oversized than the first one that I tried. I just preferred it in the light beige. Looked a lot more expensive and upscale to me personally, but this pinstriped one does give that kind of like beachier vibe. So if that's what you're into, I think that is a good option as well. So the next blazer I want to talk about is completely on the opposite spectrum of blazers and it is a cropped blazer. It is the linen blend crop blazer in the color oyster white. So first of all, it's funny. I actually got a pair of pants in my trousers try on that was also in oyster white and I felt like it was a different color. I really loved those trousers. One of my new favorite pairs of trousers. This one honestly just gave me more just slightly off white type of vibes, whereas the other one was much more luxe and rich and had more depth 
to the color, I would say, but it still was actually quite a nice piece. I was honestly surprised how cute this looked. I thought it cropped in at a really good length. I thought these sleeves went to a very good length and the boxiness of the blazer looked really nice, but I am very much one of those people that I need to feel good in my clothing. And that one, I just felt like I was drowning in the material a bit, which is so funny because the oversized one, I didn't feel that way. Whereas this cropped blazer, I just really did. One thing I forgot to mention about the first blazer is there is a little bit of shoulder padding in the piece, but it's not too much at all. I think it honestly just gives a really good structure to the piece and it also makes it so that the arms drape a little bit more nicely. This cropped one also had that, but I felt like it was a little bit more skookum in the shoulders. I don't know. It just felt like a lot on my body and I just didn't feel super comfortable in it. And to be honest, I have some cropped jackets from Aritzia from the Wilfred line and I'm absolutely in love with those and that kind of gives the same look as this blazer does so I definitely think I'd be drawn to wear those ones for my wardrobe more and I think this one would just kind of be left in the dust. I do not think it's a terrible piece in any way, but it just wasn't for me. And lastly, I did just want to throw in this little sweater that I picked up because I feel like it really needs to be talked about. I think it's such a beautiful sweater. It's one of those pieces, again, that feels a lot more expensive than it is, and it doesn't feel like something you would get from Zara. And it is the basic knit sweater in the color navy and white. I just really think this is a hidden little gem on the Zara website. I'll have everything linked down below, so if you guys do wanna check it out, you can go straight to the product from my links. But this is just one of those pieces that you just feel amazing in. It drapes over the body beautifully. It is a little bit see-through, but it's because it's that really lightweight, flowy material, and it just so, so beautiful. I really don't mind that it's a little bit see-through. It's one of those fabrics that I'm always looking for. Whenever I get a sweater in this type of material, I always wear the heck out of it because they're just so comfy yet flattering and they still look put together. And they are definitely one of those sweaters that you can definitely size up in and get an oversized look while still creating a very feminine figure to your body because they just drape beautifully. I love the big striping to it. Very beachy, very spring and summer. I like the big hemline on the bottom. The sleeves roll up nicely. You can absolutely tuck the sweater in or just let it hang. And I think honestly, letting it hang is the best way to go with these type of pieces because especially when you're moving and you're out in the real world, not just standing in front of a camera, I feel like that's just when you really grasp how beautiful the material actually is, is when you see it flowing as you walk in move and do normal daily things. Absolutely recommend it. I think it's such a great addition to my wardrobe as a more casual piece that I can wear whenever I just want to feel comfy but also feel like I look more put together. And again, I'm just in love. I think it's a great piece and I think you guys should really check it out. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below and also make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out me and my channel and I really appreciate it when you guys do that. But just thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.